We've got breaking news out of the NFL into CBS Sports HQ. Wide receiver Amari Cooper is being traded to the Cleveland Browns. This confirmed by our Jonathan Jones and Josina Anderson. The 27-year-old former Cowboy spent the last three and a half seasons of his seven-year career in Dallas. In return for the four-time Pro Bowler, Dallas will receive a fifth-round pick. The teams will also reportedly swap sixth-round selections. Cooper led the Cowboys in catches, receiving yards, and touchdowns in two of his seasons in the Big D. CBS Sports senior NFL writer Jonathan Jones here with the details. JJ, it was apparent over the last couple weeks that the Cowboys were actively shopping their former top target. What can you tell us about how the deal came together? Yeah, there were some interested parties involved that didn't really want to see Amari Cooper uh, be cut and then get out there where he could go to the highest bidder. And so uh, there was interest from the New York Jets, interest from the Miami Dolphins, interest from the Jacksonville Jaguars, among other teams. But it is the Cleveland Browns who decided to pony up uh, the pick. That is a fifth round pick, as you mentioned, a swap of sixth round picks, and they get Amari Cooper and the rest of his contract. And so when you look at it from Cleveland's perspective, they obviously needed another pass catcher there. They franchise tag David Njoku at tight end. They're set at running back, and they have an aging Jarvis Landry, and they had a hole obviously left uh, by the departure of Odell Beckham Jr., with whom they could never make it work. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys, well, he became sort of the odd man out when you look at their financials. Uh, they uh, have a big cap charge with uh, Ezekiel Elliott. They have reworked the deal for Dak Prescott. They drafted CeeDee Lamb. They have an impending deal with Michael Gallup, and they franchise tag Dalton Schultz. And so uh, they really could not stand to play and have Amari Cooper with that $20 million, $22 million cap hit. And so a release about this time last week was looking very possible, if not likely. And then that information started to gin up some trade interest. And so the Cleveland Browns being very aggressive here in trading for the four-time Pro Bowler. You mentioned it. Go, to Cleveland goes Amari Cooper, but along with him comes that contract. $20 million goes guaranteed in about a week's time. That's for this season. Two years following that, 20 per season as well. So Dallas happy to get the wide receiver off their books with plenty of offensive talent elsewhere on that side of the ball. But in terms of Cleveland, what does this tell you about their route moving forward? You mentioned Jarvis Landry. Maybe some of the moves that they're going to try and make to surround Amari Cooper and lead him into the latter years of this contract. Yeah, and so who really knows if Amari Cooper will ultimately see the end of the five-year, $100 million mm -hmm. deal that he signed two years ago. And so, yes, he, I believe he's going to play under this deal right now. That's how it has been described to me, whether it actually gets reworked eventually to be determined, but that does not seem to be uh, an immediate thing here for the Cleveland Browns. I believe um, that this opens up a new possibility for the Cleveland Browns. They have a new shiny toy, a new pass catcher in Amari Cooper. Last year, a little bit of a down year. Uh, you know, there were it was difficult to spread the football around with so many guys there in that offense. But uh, <laughs> I'm wondering who's going to throw him the football. We can all it's, think it's, it's going to be Baker question. Mayfield. Yeah. The, the former number one overall pick, the franchise quarterback, the guy that, frankly, the Cleveland Browns publicly committed to very shortly after the season ended. But they have been doing a lot of homework on Deshaun Watson. Mm -hmm. This is a team that wants to uh, make sure that they are talented everywhere, that they are uh, improving and evaluating at every position, and that includes the quarterback position with Baker Mayfield. And so I believe that this positions Cleveland even better if the Browns do decide to make that trade for Deshaun Watson, if he wants to go to Cleveland, they would have the ammunition in the form of at least three first round picks and then something, whether it's picks and player or uh, all picks, all that has to be determined, of course. But this makes Cleveland a more desirable location for a Deshaun Watson, who is certainly trying to choose between or among teams like the Carolina Panthers, Seattle Seahawks, New Orleans Saints, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and potentially the Philadelphia Eagles, among some others that we may not even know about now. So uh, this positions the Cleveland Browns very well. If they want to make a run at Deshaun Watson, they look a lot more attractive today than they did yesterday. Yeah, and if not Deshaun, it does put the pressure on Baker Mayfield here to perform in the final year of that contract if, if he is, in fact, the one under center. But let's get back to the player at hand here. We're a year removed from back-to-back-to-back 1,000-plus-yard -to -back -to -back seasons. Uh, five of his seven years in his career, he's gone for four digits. What are the Browns getting here in a 27-year-old Amari Cooper who has had a checkered injury past here in, in recent memory. 
Yeah, he has. And, and we see right there the sort of down year. Again, maybe you can chalk that up to the ball. Just he couldn't get the ball as much as he had in previous mm -hmm. years as CeeDee Lamb grew, as Michael Gallup was there, as Dalton Schultz emerged, et cetera, et cetera. And so uh, they're getting a guy who, yes, there has been some injury concerns uh, this past season. He tended to disappear a little bit in big moments. Uh, but, you know, you say 27, he will be 28 once you get into training camp, but still very young, plenty of tread on the tires, and they, the Browns, frankly, needed an outside wide receiver, and they looked at the market, and they said, okay, Devontae Adams tagged, Mike Williams reaches the long-term deal with the Chargers, Chris Godwin tagged, and so is it trade for Amari Cooper, or is it potentially sign an Allen Robinson in free agency? Christian Kirk, do you really want to pay him $15 million a year? Do you think he's worth that? because that's ultimately what he's going to get out there on the market and you're worth what someone's willing to pay you. I don't think the Cleveland Browns were willing to pay Christian Kirk that sort of money, but they still believe in Amari Cooper despite, again, a relative down year uh, based upon what he had done the previous four seasons across two teams. So uh, I think that they still have very much a ball player in Amari Cooper, and you hope that last year was more of a blip than a trend. Yeah, we, can, we will see if he can uh, reignite as a true number one in Cleveland. But, J.J., we thank you for the insight. All right, here's a look again at those trade details between the Cowboys and the Browns. To the Browns go Amari Cooper and the 2022 sixth round pick this upcoming draft in April. They will swap sixths uh, with the Cowboys. The Cowboys also receiving a fifth in compensation for their former top wide receiver. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.